Hello Tangerines from Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. I continue on my quest to hit up every one of my favorite spots from my last trip to PV and there were a lot of them. But I'm also trying to try some new stuff but this time I'm at a repeat place. It's called the Pancake House and from what I remember this was one of the better value places that I went to and I remember it being very good as well. I've ordered so much stuff here it's almost embarrassing. Uh, I got a large fresh squeezed orange juice that I've already drank like half of and poured in another glass so it was much bigger than this. For 35 pesos I got a smoothie with papaya and banana for 40 pesos and then I ordered two plates of food for breakfast <laughs> that I'll show you in a moment. And they also brought out some salsas and a plate of bread that I was not expecting because I didn't order that. I am so excited for this breakfast. I got the peanut butter and banana of pancakes for 75 pesos but I couldn't decide what I wanted so to not feel like such a fatty like getting these peanut butter pancakes I also got a big old plate of fruit for 68 pesos and then I added cottage cheese to that for an additional 18. That was so good but I'm feeling defeated now because half of my pancakes are still here and a bunch of fruit is still on the plate and I cannot eat any more at all. I'm so stuffed. Very good, highly recommended. Pancake House, love it just as much as I did the last time. This morning I'm hiking up to one of a few miradors in Puerto Vallarta and right now we're at the very beginning of many, many stairs to come. So I need to save my breath so I can make it up to the top. There's, I'm so out of breath. I'm gonna try to get this out. There's someone here who has a for sale sign at their house saying they sell Gatorade and Coke and water for dummies like us who decide to walk up here instead of Uber. <laughs> okay, I'm not only sweaty, but this is also slippery. I'm being shown to the Mirador by someone who lives here, and I was just informed that this is her first time ever going. <laughs> I'm a good tour guide, I take you to places. <laughs> What's the problem? I was walking up the hill more, feeling completely exhausted, and I was like, oh, maybe I should go back and get some of that Gatorade they were selling. But now, here's another sign selling bottles of water, another bottle of water, um, like, uh, agua frescas and things like that so they're very enterprising around here they know right when you're going to be regretting a decision you made earlier by not bringing liquids with you <laughs> so many stairs after many many more stairs i was very excited to see that there's a tram here that's going to conveniently take me the rest of the way but then i was informed that it's not working and that it hasn't been for a while. They already have the tracks and everything and the cables. Why? Just why? I want to see the view, but I don't want to work to get there. Okay, I'm not to the top, but I found a good enough mirror door. So I think I'm just gonna stay here. Nice views. Good. Cool. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm gonna try to keep pushing. But damn. I mean, where I live in Querétaro, it's over 6,000 feet of elevation, but it's flat. <laughs> I'm not used to hills. However, I think being acclimatized to the higher altitude now that I'm at sea level is making this a little bit easier than it otherwise would have been, but it's still hard. Oh, oh we're almost there. There's some more stairs. We're practically at the Mirador. It's right up there but they designed this where you have to go downstairs and then go back up. Who designed this? Can we just keep going up? Not waste all the work I already did? After many drips of sweat and much regret, we finally made it to the top and it is beautiful up here. Awesome views, but what I like even more is the breeze that's drying off of my sweat, but also my towel that I brought with helped to dry. <laughs> Everybody wants a home with a view. But looking around out here, I see that you really have to pay for the view and effort to get up there. Like, there's some really nice places up on these hills, 
but man, is it a long walk or steep drive up here. You can really see how high up we are because there's this huge Katrina, this Dia de Muertos decoration out on the boardwalk there. And from here, it looks tiny. This tile work on these stairs is so pretty. I've noticed a lot of stuff like this around the city. Businesses and stuff can actually sponsor certain areas for the beautification of that area. And there's many, many places I've seen around Vallarta that are similar to this. Gracias. Mm. You know, I never liked coconut water until I got one fresh. And now I'm in love with it. It's so sweet, so good. It has all the nutrients and vitamins there. Whew. Oh, it's so refreshing on a hot day. And I don't know if I'm gonna be by the person who sold it to me, but whenever you buy a coconut, like after you drink all the water, you can take it back to the same person who you bought it from and they'll uh, chop it up for you and i give you the coconut meat inside there. And something that makes these coconuts way better is that they're cold. They put them in a cooler and they make all the water inside nice and cold before they serve it to you. Oh. Gosh, I miss these. So tonight I'm being shown around by a local to her favorite spot and Taqueria Las Hueras is one of them. I got a shrimp taco, arrobada taco, and al pastor taco. And they're like, I forget, 15, 20 pesos, somewhere in that range. So I'm ready to dig in because apparently they're really good. And since we've been here, there have been three different food tours. At Taqueria Las Hueras, I was kind of disappointed that I wasn't able to try what's supposed to be the best thing on the menu, the birria quesadilla. They were all out of birria. Fortunately, I just had to go with the tacos, and they were pretty good. I'm also told that they're not as good when they're so busy with food tours. So that might have caused a little bit of an issue tonight. Quiero un chai latte con leche de coco. También un jugo verde. Y para comer los benedictinos con salmón. This morning I'm at Coco's Kitchen. Uh, this was recommended to me by a few people. And honestly, I thought I'd never been here before, but as soon as I arrived, I'm like, oh yeah, this place looks familiar. One thing I noticed I really like about this restaurant is it's really on brand for tangerine travels. This chai latte is so freaking good. This is one of the best I've ever had. I got it with coconut milk, which was a little bit extra, and it was 70 pesos. And I also got a green juice for 60 pesos. You know, given the color theme here, I'm now thinking that I should have ordered a tangerine juice <laughs> or an orange juice. But I'll do the Hugo Verde. My salmon eggs benedict took a while to come out today, um, but we'll see how it is. Actually, I already took a bite, but I'm just gonna take a bite for you guys. <laughs> it's good. I'm always a fan of eggs benedict. <laughs> really, it's a dish that I almost never don't buy. Um, but yeah, it's good. Oh, and if I didn't tell you, the salmon eggs benedict is 175 pesos. As it turns out, the more I eat of the meal, the more I like it. They have big old pieces of salmon underneath there that are just delicious. And then they have the hash browns that are perfectly cooked with the perfect amount of crunchy on the outside. Mmm, I love it. Today I'm taking you somewhere that most tourists here never see. Our first stop today is in a small town called San Juan de Abajo. We're gonna be doing a little Mexican grilling today, so our first stop is to get fresh pressed tortillas. Tortillerias are super common and you'll find them all over Mexico, but this is actually one of the biggest tortilla making operations I've seen. And now we're here at the little market picking out some fruits and vegetables for our Mexican grilling later. 
We are in Nuevo Ixlan, Nayarit, at the Aguas Termales, or the Thermal Waters. After at least a two-hour drive, we arrived to literally the middle of nowhere in the state of Nayarit to these hot springs here. They have a bunch of different pools we can choose from. We're surrounded by nature here, and you can have it pretty much as cool or as hot as you want the pools. In terms of distance here, it actually wasn't that long of a drive. However, we were going through so many small towns and on gravel roads, winding through the jungles. So that's why it took so long to cover not a very far distance. Now we are here and we're gonna spend the next couple of hours enjoying the thermal waters of Nayarit. Oh, this feels awesome. And then you have all the natural minerals to help exfoliate your skin and I'm sure give you other benefits and stuff like that. Feels so good. I'm going to enjoy this. We had the hot water cranked all the way up so it was coming in really fast, but it couldn't drain fast enough out this hole. <laughs> so our pool started overflowing. But the drain goes right out here. So if you go to this side of the pool, it's really warm. And then there's actually like cool water over here. Look at that, they just brought out some freshly cut fruit for us. Gracias. Doño and Pepe are over here cranking up the grill. We got some stuff grilling already, cutting up some fruits and vegetables. And in a little bit, we're gonna have a nice little feast. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> Lunch is ready. This tour was recommended by a subscriber and I booked it through Airbnb. It was about a hundred US dollars. If you're interested in it, if it's something it looks like you would enjoy, I'll link to it down in the description below. I was looking at the wristband here and it says to get in here in these aguas termales. It's 50 pesos, the entrance fee is only 50 pesos. However, the hard part is getting here. We were on these windy jungle roads forever and if you don't know where you're going, you're gonna get lost, I'm sure. We're leaving the thermal waters and the next part of this tour was the real selling point for me. We're going to Bucerias for a massage on the beach. Oh, you know, just a horse trotting down the road. Hello. <laughs> As we're driving along the road here, we're just passing all kinds of beautiful scenery. There's a lot of car time on this tour. This time it's going to be about an hour or an hour and a half from the thermal waters to Bucerias. We just got the Bucerias and we have the massage tables right in front of us, right ocean front. I'm like 95% sure I'm going to fall asleep during this with the waves crashing. I'm just feeling really relaxed after those thermal waters. All right, I am so ready for this massage. If you're interested in coming to Mexico, I think one of the best things you can do for yourself is to start learning Spanish. Our favorite program is called Rocket Languages. It's a really thorough course and it's a great value. Something I really like is that it's a one-time payment. It's not something you have to pay every month or every year. You pay one time and you get the updated version of the course forever. If you're interested in that and would like to check it out, you can go on to tangerinespanish.com. That's our affiliate link and it will take you right to the website. Again, that's tangerinespanish.com. I've been craving some seafood, so today I came to the Blue Shrimp. However, I wanted to go somewhere else. Uh, a little hidden gem here in Vallarta. However, it's kind of far away, and the Uber was really expensive to get there, so just the cost of the Uber was like the cost of an entree here. So, here I am at the Blue Shrimp, and I'm gonna hope that my Mahi Mahi, the catch of the day, is delicious, it looks really good. It was 420 pesos. This mahi mahi was quite expensive. However, it does look really good. It has like a sweet potato puree, some steamed vegetables, a passion fruit sauce, which I'm really excited for, so I'm gonna dig into this. Mm. That is so, so good. Mm. Better be for this price. 
I realized that I'm here on my last night in Puerto Vallarta and I hadn't seen a single sunset all week and Puerto Vallarta has some of the most beautiful, beautiful sunsets. And it was really pretty, but I didn't get the camera out in time to show you, I'm sorry. You just have to come here and see it for yourself. It is spectacular almost every single night. It is amazing. I got the very end of it on camera tonight, but it really didn't do it justice in any meaningful way. So, come in for yourself if you want to see the sunset. So Vallarta wasn't very well known until the movie came out, The Night of the Iguana, with Elizabeth Taylor. And this house right behind me here is actually where Elizabeth Taylor was living on my left. And on my right is where Richard Burton was living. And the story I was told is that this bridge that's connecting these two houses was built because they were having an affair and they'd be able to sneak over to each other's house in the middle of the night. This house has totally been renovated since she lived here and it's now Hotel Casa Kimberly and it's not only a hotel but also a bar and restaurant. I'll be making more videos from Puerto Vallarta and elsewhere in Mexico so please subscribe to our channel. On the screen here is another video I made in Puerto Vallarta so you can click on that until we see you next week but one more thing before you go. Gong that bell! So you get notified every time we release a new video and we will see you on Saturday morning.